for monitoring this used to be called athlete profile and this is where you've assembled a set of reports for your team where you just want to monitor you want to click and see what's happening all of the reports that you're seeing here both the individual athlete reports and the team reports you create them in reports and that's where you can also run individual reports for maybe players from different teams so on i'll, I'll show you that you can now have different report for different teams. You can see here I've assembled these reports for uh, XPS Team 1A. If I go to another uh, team, here for example, I have no reports. Then I just click on this plus here. Either I just pick out different reports that I want from my uh, report collection. I can also just click apply from another team and decide, yeah, I just want the same reports as the 18 okay in this window you can also decide which reports do you want to share with your players change the order and, and so on and when you share things with players you always see you see this little icon here that means this is shared with a player with the players so uh, and now you can also share team reports with players so you can have leaderboards and so on Whenever you are in monitoring, if you have the necessary access, it's easy to both print out, but also to click. You can edit report straight from here. Right now you can go in here and, and you see now I have access to the grid here. So I could start moving things around for the widgets or you can click and edit any kind of widgets. So maybe you want to show something else. You can just change it right from here. If the report is being used by another team, you're going to be notified. So you can decide whether to change it for everyone or create a duplicate of this report. So let's go to reports. Again, you have the different kinds of report, athlete report. Uh, let's say we create a new one. We have a specific video where we create all kinds of widgets. Uh, I want this video to be short, so I would refer to that one. Uh, you know, what is an athlete report? The athlete report is a specific kind of report where you will always when you select it in monitoring, for example, you always have the athlete list here and you're always looking at one player at a time. So what you do here, you go in here and you add the, the header information that you want to see. And you add the different tabs where you have all kinds of widgets for each tab. And then you go into the grid and you start adding the different kind of widget. Uh, so that's the athlete report. I'm just going to stop the editing on this one and go back. Then you have team reports. Uh, let's create a team report. In the same way, you have a grid, then you're going to be adding them, charts and tables and different widgets, and we're going to be adding types of widgets in here. You have these two options here, whether it's a single day, that means you can you only, will only be able to have one day at a time in the period picker. And shareable with athletes, because we now allow you to share team reports with players or athletes. We have kind of a, like a double safety system. So you have to make those reports shareable and then you have to share them in monitoring. Let's stop the editing on this one. Now, one thing to understand here, well, actually let's put in a quick, I just want to put in a quick chart here. The nice thing about creating these uh, all kinds of widgets is that you always see what you're building. So you just, kind of self-explanatory when you when you try it out. So now we created a, a chart here for charting body weight. Let's drag it out. What I wanted to show is that here in reports, so let's say we have a report here. You might be using it in monitoring and you might add it to one of your teams in monitoring, but maybe not. Maybe you just have a report here. So that means you can come to reports Sure, now you have these players that you're looking at right here. But you can click here on select performers. Let's clear these players out. Maybe you just want to compare three players and maybe even from different teams. And uh, then I say, okay, here, this is not a good chart for that example, but, but you get the idea here. And I could even go for select performers. I could change to teams because sometimes you want to be comparing teams for body weight, maybe not the best example, but 
well here we, so you will get the average uh, weight here that's how you can run any kind of report for any kind of any players any teams and so on now what i didn't show is uh, again please watch the video about the different kind of widgets you can have leaderboards you can have uh, tables where you add rules so if something is above or below or between you can color the, the backgrounds or the text of the tables and so on. Uh, easy to put, create all these kinds of uh, readiness or evaluation charts. This is the period picker. Made some nice printing too. And uh, just, just play around with it.